Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching and today I have a math Olympiad question for you guys. So let's jump into the question. f of n goes from in from positive integers to positive integers. Okay. For all positive integers m and n, we have f of f of m plus f of n is equal to m plus n. And the question is asking us to find f of 1988. Well, remember the last video where it was also a functional equation? The most popular way to solve functional equations was to guess. And that's actually what we're going to do here. So let's guess what f of m and f of n can be. You, should, you guys should think simpler. So why don't we just let f of m be m? In f of n b n simple right but then we can't just say that and then say that we solved the question we have to prove it but how using mathematical induction so we know that the step one of mathematical induction is to prove the simplest case f of one is equal to one Right? Well, how do we prove this? By contradiction. So, contradiction means you assume the opposite of this is true. So, we assume that f of 1 is not equal to 1. And when we're trying to prove this, one of the step in here will contradict to this idea, meaning that this is true. So, if f of 1 is not equal to 1, then why don't we just make it a random number x? So we say that f of 1 is equal to x. And since x is greater than 1, then we know that it can always be written as 1 plus y. Right? So then why don't we just try to plug in f of 1 in there and see what happens? So we know that f of f of 1 plus f of 1 is equal to, there are two answers here. One of them is, you know that f of 1 is x and f of 1 is x, right? So it's just f of 2x. And the second one is, by using the definition, it's 1 plus 1, which is 2. So, therefore, we know that f of 2x is equal to 2. This is equation 1. Now, why don't we try f of y? But then, we can't just go in and letting f of y. We have to first let f of y be z. Let f of y be equal to z. So now, we can plug in f of y. So it's f of f of y plus f of y, which is equal to, for this one, there are also two answers. We see f of y is z, so it's f of 2z. We can also use a definition, it's 2y. So therefore f of 2z is equal to 2y, equation 2. Well, look. Look at equation 1 and 2. We have f of 2x and f of 2z. We have two functions here. So what do you think of? Well, why don't we just try to plug these two in and see what happens? f of f of 2x plus f of 2z. Right? This is equal to also two solutions. The first one will be, we know that f of 2x is equal to 2 and f of 2z is equal to 2y. So it will just be f of 2 plus 2y. 
and we recall that x is equal to 1 plus y, so 2x is equal to 2 plus 2y. So then, this is just 2x. So it's just f of 2x. And we look back at equation 1. f of 2x is equal to 2. So this is actually equal to 2. Nice. Now, now we can use the definition. So it's obviously 2x plus 2z. And since I don't have space here, I'll write it down here. So, therefore, we know that 2 is equal to 2x plus 2z. And so we can cancel all of this out. So then we know that x plus z is equal to 1. And we recall that x and z are all in the set of positive integers. So then this is impossible. So this is the step that contradicts with this assumption. So we know that this has to be true. Okay, step one done. Well, don't you think that step one was a lot of work? So then you guys might think that step three would take off the whole whiteboard. But no, this question is a very unique one where step one is the hardest and step three and step two are one of the easier steps. So this is a pretty interesting question. Let's go to step two. We just let a random variable n, we say it's true. And then the final step, step three, is to prove that f of n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1. Hmm. n is fn, correct? 1 is f1, correct? So why don't we just plug those in? So it's equal to f of f of n plus f of 1. And look. This is in perfect form for this definition. So what is it? It's equal to n, right? Easy. Well, look, we just proved it. So step three done. F of k, I'm going to say, is equal to k, correct? So we know that f of 1988 is equal to 1988. And so this is the final answer of this very interesting mathematical Olympiad question. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.